Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for today is a match from the Grand Slam in Baku 2022 in the men's under 81 division. Uh, we have in white Matthias Kass from Belgium. And in blue, we have Bolor Ochir uh, uh, Gerald Tuya from Mongolia. And um, they're just getting, they're just bowing onto the mat now. Let's destroy them in action. I've been off because. My voice is a little mm, not doing good. So, <laughs> okay. All right, so going for the cross grip by Bolor. Tomonage by Matthias. This was, as an attempt, it was, it was okay. Got him up a little. That's tough. Like, Bolar is so low. You know, at an 81 division, it's going to be really hard to get and, and deep enough under them. It matters because if you're taller, you've got then the uh, person trying to throw actually has a little bit further to go, and that leg's a little longer, you know. So getting that extension is harder. So okay, so. Bolor just got a Shido for not attacking. It's been uh, like two or three uh, Tomonage attempts by Matthias, so it's fair. It's not like there's, like he's doing it so fast. Okay. Drop left, Ipon Seoe. A little underturned. Um, I always worry about stuff like that because. You know, your neck is still there, right? So either that or your arm is vulnerable. I was kind of worried about, like, the opening you leave, right? So, but, you know, Bolor didn't uh, really capitalize on it. Will he next time? Possibly. Just some very exploratory things. I'm surprised because... There's been a couple attacks already by Batais. Okay, there we go. Now that's really not a real attack because he didn't turn in at all. Yep, okay. Getting the hooks in. All right. As high as, okay, rolling through. Can he continue? No, he's standing up. This is going to be my oh, Okay. Oh, he taps. Oh, he got him. Wow. Oh, never mind. I thought it was going to be Mate. Like, you just lift them up a little bit, and that'll be it. Okay. Wow, congrats. It's very slick from Matthias there. Let's watch that again. Congratulations to him. So, this is all, you know, the scramble here. Okay, so, what's, um, let's see if I can change the angle. Will this work? I don't know. I've never done this before. We're changing camera angles here. We're, we're changing things up. Ugh, okay. Remind me never to do this again. Because I will. Okay. I think we're coming to it. Okay. So, from here. Let's get up. Okay. You see how that hip is a little high? He knows he wants that arm bar. So he's going to get that leg over the head as soon as he can yeah boom I mean that's good that's really good <laughs> uh, okay I've, what would you do differently if you're a bull or a cheer Okay, obviously, congratulations to Matthias. Great. Fantastic, Paul. I love it. Great. Do more of that type of stuff. Let's keep 
Nebaza and Judo, right? Uh, more victories like this means that more people will have to start working in Nebaza, proper Nebaza into their good match. What's my sort of thoughts on uh, what Bolor did wrong or could have done differently? Let's see here. I mean, it all comes on pretty fast. You know, oof. he's got to know like that. That's a possibility, right? That if he's really high up on the on his back, that's a possibility, and it doesn't take much, right? Like to defend the armor from there, because <coughs> once he's lifted. Once that head is lifted off the mat, it's automatic mate, right? So you don't have to um, you don't have to give up much. Like you don't have to, let's say, last that long in the standing up process. To uh, yeah, but phew, that's slick though. That's slick. <laughs> you know, hard to do much. Let's just say, you know. You could probably just, you know, um, save the standing up for if you're already in something like a choke or something like that, and you can stand up because then you're already, you're already in it, right? But standing up, like, what was the benefit there, right? So maybe that's the best advice. Is, like, I like standing up as a defense in judo because. Um, <coughs> <laughs> because they automatic mate, but you know, this is the downside, right? Uh, so if someone's choking you, or maybe trying to put you in the armbar, if you can get up, sometimes the fastest thing to do is just get up and then do it. But, anyways, those are my thoughts. A little rambly, I'm sorry. I'm just so surprised. I'm in awe of the of the armbar. I love it. Um, if you want, have your own thoughts, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, subscribe. Please excuse the voice. I'm not feeling well. And until next match, have a great night.